Good evening, everyone. Uh, Maida Etzel coming to you live from Litchfield, Kentucky. We're going to give it just a few seconds uh, to let people get on so I can make sure I'm being heard. So we'll give it just a few seconds and then we'll get started. Babe, can you let me know that you are hearing me, please? All right, great. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We'll give it just a second, and then we'll get started. While we're waiting, um, if you're not a part of the women's ministry, this is a leadership training for the women's ministry. The link is in the in the comments above. So, can somebody please let Kimber know that I am going live now? I am actually live, please. I sent her, I tagged her in it, but apparently she ain't got it. Uh, I appreciate it. So anyway, as I was saying, if you're not a part of the women's ministry, make sure you click the link above. Send me over an uh, ad request and we'll get you going there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Mama. Welcome in. So we're going to be going over the lesson change. So if somebody could please just let Kimber know that we are live, I appreciate it. So uh, we're going to be doing change. I looked up the definition for change. Um, it's the act or instance of making or becoming different, and we'll explain that after a bit here. So, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And I do not, <laughs> I do not know how to pronounce this book of the Bible. It's the one that's a big long E word, and it's chapter 3, verse 1. So, forgive me, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, so, here in the 21st century, change is a fact of life. The world keeps changing, and so do we. The question, of course, is whether the changes that we initiate turn out to be improvements or impediments. To find the answer to that question, we must first consult a source of wisdom that does not change. The, that source is God. God's word makes it clear, I am the Lord, I do not change. Hello, Angela, welcome in. And that comes out of Malachi 3, 6. We can be confronted by the knowledge that our covenant with the Creator is everlasting and non-negotiable. The Lord has promised to keep His word, and that's precisely what He will do. So the next time you face rough time, or tough times and unwelcome changes, remember that one thing never changes, God's love for you. Then perhaps you will worry less, do your best, and leave the rest up to him. So before we go forward in the book, I want to give you, all right, sometimes, I just want to say this, sometimes change is hard for people to cope with, okay? Um, and I want to give you an example of this because Jimmy and I, we have been discussing change quite a bit here recently. And I won't go into detail to, uh, with that conversation, but what I have realized is, um, you know, we have a, quite an age difference between Jimmy and I, and we were discussing this just earlier today about how, you know, when you get to a certain age, you're set in your ways, and you have the, kind of the mindset of, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, um, kind of thing going on, um, which I can appreciate, um, but I'm on the other end of the spectrum, whereas I, um, you know, I'm open to change. Uh, when it, when it's time for changes to be made, I pivot just like that, like just like a drop of a dime, okay? Um, so you need to realize that in leadership, you're going to um, work with various different types of people that have different opinions about change. So uh, I want to give you four mindsets that can really help people adapt to the change that you make. And this can be in ministry, it can be in business, or whatever, wherever you need to make change. And the first one is mindfulness. Now, I know, you know, for a lot of us, we hear, keep hearing this word, mindfulness. Um, and so, mindfulness is making the, the choice to slow down and notice what you're thinking and feeling without judgment. We, uh, hello, Kimber. Uh, we always want to make sure that we acknowledge our feelings. Um, it's not, there's nothing wrong with acknowledging your feelings. Just don't stay in that feeling, especially if it's a negative one. Also... Uh, stopping and paying attention to your own thoughts and feelings in the moment. 
uh, sometimes when it comes to change, uh, you know, you know, part of us is negative. We get real negative about changes, but we need to le make sure that we are learning to pivot when it's necessary. Changes are not always bad. They can be good as well. Um, so by taking time to stop and, and, um, and uh, recognize your thoughts and your feelings, you can first, um, uh, respond with acceptance to the change because as a ministry we are going through a growth period and we're making a lot of changes and so we got to be able to adapt to that so we first accept that we're going to be making some changes okay and then we can choose our reaction to change and adapt to the, sh the shifting conditions of the change okay so that's mindful mindfulness the second is curiosity okay and this is where we seek to understand the why, the what, the how, and the when of the change, okay? And also, what we can ask ourselves when it comes to changes, because I, like I said, as a ministry, we are going through some changing uh, periods, different things in the ministry is changing. Uh, and what we can do is ask yourself, how can I approach this situation differently? Instead of responding to change negatively, how can you approach that in a different uh, perspective, Okay. So the third one I have for you is courage, okay? Um, you need to be willing to speak out when you are uncertain. Um, if we're making, if, there, if you're making a change and you're uncertain why um, that we are making that change, please speak up, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Ask questions if you don't understand, all right? And also, you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're willing to share your ideals and concerns with whoever, it, whoever you need to do that with. And also ask for what you need. If you don't understand changes, then make sure you are, you know, asking for an explanation, okay? There's nothing wrong with that either. So the fourth one is resilience, okay? Um, you need to know what you're good at and what your strengths are because this is going to help you, all right? Focus on what you can control and let go of what you can't. When it comes to change, we can't always, um, we can't always control that, okay? And also, my favorite quote for this is, this too shall pass. So if you don't agree with a change, give it some time, a couple months down the road, whatever your problem is with change will not even matter, okay? So let's continue on. To improve is to change. To succeed is to change often. Winston Churchill. Change always starts in your mind. The way you think determines the way you feel, and the way you feel influences the way you act. Rick Warren. Are you on the Are you on the eve of change? Embrace it, accept it, don't resist it. Change is not only a part of life. Change is a necessary part of God's strategy to use us to change the world. He alters our assignments. Max, Max something. I don't know how to say last name. <coughs> Grace is the voice that calls us to change and then gives us the power to pull it off. We all want progress, but if you're on the wrong road, progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. In that case, the man who turns back soonest is the most progressive. The world changes, circumstances change, we change, but God's word never changes. More from God's word. The wise see danger ahead and avoid it, but fools keep going and get into trouble. Proverbs 22, verse 3. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. 2 Peter three eighteen. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I become a man, I put aside childish things. 1 Corinthians 13, 11. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Revelation 21, 5. I am the Lord and I do not change. Malachi 3, 6. You know, as I was reading that, I was thinking about a conversation that Jimmy and I had uh, about change. You know, he was telling me about how back in the day when he was growing up and going to church. Um, let me get a drink real quick. That the pastors of the churches, and I do remember this. I'm not that young that I don't remember. There were not too many rules and, and regulations and things like that. They just ran it, you know, as it was, okay? And the reason why we were discussing that is because we was discussing change. 
And I told Jimmy, I said, listen, you got to be open to change. You got to be willing to pivot because when you're going through any type of growth stage, whether it be ministry, business, personal life, whatever, sometimes, even though we may not like change, we have to be willing to do that in order to grow. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you. So we got a timely tip for leaders. Change is inevitable. You can either roll with it or be rolled over by it. As a savvy leader, you must choose the former. So we should always be willing to adapt to change. Yeah, I agree, Pastor Mike. We do have to adapt to change. Because, listen, I know that there are some people... Listen, I get it that you don't... You know, some people don't like change. And I respect you for that. Um, but we need to learn how to be more open-minded. And think about what what the changes are going to do how how is it how is it going to improve things okay um a lot of times you know people think change is bad okay but if you're in a growth period like our ministry is um sometimes you have to change the the rules of the ministry sometimes you have to change your inner circle which would be our leadership team okay sometimes you have to do that you have to move people around um and just know that if you're if you are a pastor, your congregation is complaining, just know it's gonna be okay. They're gonna get over it, I promise you, because God would God's the one that's uh leading you and guiding you to make those changes, so it will be okay. <laughs> I promise. But anyway, does anybody have anything that they would like to share um before I had head off here because we do have another meeting to be at here shortly. So, I'm going to give it just a second to see if anybody wants to come up and share anything. Yeah, Mama, I agree. We do have to be willing to change because if we're not willing to change, regardless what area of life that is, we're going to get, we're going to get stagnant, you know, and uh, we're not going to be successful in whatever it is we're trying to achieve. So, I agree. God is the leader. Yes, he is. He's going to provide whoever, um, whether it's in your life, your inner circle of friends, or your ministry, your inner circle of leadership, or whatever. He's going to provide who he needs in that position. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this lesson. Now, um, these are these lives. Now, we do have snow coming up on Sunday. Now, this coming week, uh, my lives are supposed to be on Monday at 4 and Wednesday at 4. Uh, however, if the, if we get the snow that they're saying, we may lose power, we may lose internet, so y'all just keep that in mind. Um, before I get off here, I do want to send a reminder to everyone that if you are not a part of our main ministry, we do have leadership calls in there, and they are awesome, they're going awesome. I think this would be, uh, I think we're going on our fourth or fifth leadership call, so if you're interested in that, just get with Pastor Mike. Or First Lady Angela, I'm sure she's in here somewhere. I seen her a while ago. Um, and we will get you in there. If you see this after I have gotten off the live and you want to be a part of our ministry, just drop me a message in there and I'll get you uh, I'll get you in touch with Pastor Mike and he can take it from there. But if nobody has anything that they want to get up here and share, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go so we can prepare for our next meeting. I want to thank y'all for joining me. Y'all have a great rest of your evening and God bless.